So let's say you wanted to draw a house and there are a bunch of like architectural details that you wanted to get in. Um, so, you know, you'll pick your horizon line. We'll just keep it centered for now because that's pretty simple. Um, and uh, and pick your, you'll pick your vanishing points. You know, you draw your vertical and start dropping lines back to the vanishing points. And as you're doing this, remember, just be mindful that you're drawing in space. You're not drawing a triangle on a flat plane. You're drawing a rectangle receding. Okay? So I'm going to make this your typical annoyingly boxy house. Boom. There it is. So let's say I want to locate a front door. You know that you can do the X method, right? And here you can start taking shortcuts because you know how this works. Um, as long as you know that you're going to find this, uh, this intersection, you can go ahead and draw the X and not complete it out. Um, and then I know that my... Say I know that my door is centered, right? So I can go ahead and kind of like improvise in a front door to this house. can make a sort of door frame recede and put the door kind of more more back in there. You know, put a knob there or whatever. Um, so your details, really what you're doing is you're taking you're carving out space into this into this sort of thing. If you have like some sort of column or something uh, it's still just going to obey the rules of perspective, you know, you're going to have a column out here, uh, it's going to come out, it's going to recede to the horizon line, it's going to go back to the other horizon line, and then you're going to drop some, uh, some verticals up there, past the top of the house, boom, you're going to recede back to the uh, horizon line, and you're going to head back to this horizon line here, and you're going to drop that vertical again. So this is kind of like a protruding and a receding detail um, in, uh, in a house. Um, so let's say it had an A-frame roof. How would you do that? Um, it's pretty easy, actually. You know, an A-frame roof, remember, you're just drawing, you know, your, your, your square with a triangle on top of it. So this triangle is at the center, right, X. So you just project your X upwards to wherever you think you need to be. Then uh, you draw your triangle. Uh, now here is where you can, you can kind of get messed up. If you can see the roof from this side, you want to make sure that when you draw the apex, you're going to be able to, to go above the top line of the house to the vanishing point. But if you can't, put it below, right? So if it's below, you're just going to go ahead and, and put it there and there, and you're just not going to be able to see the roof. But if you can see the roof, you know, maybe it's way, way up here, right? Boom. There. There. And then you're just going to drop it all the way back to the vanishing point. Right? And then here is where you could get lost if you haven't drawn through the form, like I haven't. So this is why you draw through the form, because you can't locate the other point of the roof. Right? Does that make sense so far? Why you can't locate it? Think about that. If you don't understand it, um, try uh, try actually drawing it, right? Boom. So there I found the back plane. Now I can do my X method on the back plane, right? Boom. I can project upwards off that back plane. Boom. And I found my roof line. I can just kind of freehand it in. There it is, right? Um, 
So that's kind of a situation where you would need to actually draw through the form. If you're being really good about this, you know, with the column, you would draw through that too. Just to make sure. And if you draw through the form every single time, uh, you're going to know where everything is all the time and you're uh, always going to be on point. Um, if you don't draw through the form, uh, you run the risk of having things intersect in space a little weird, be a little strange. Um, uh, you can use that to your advantage later um, if you're doing like a really interesting, like kind of surrealist thing. Um, and you can use divergent perspective if you want. But for now, stick to drawing through the forms. This has been uh, Mead McLean with uh, beginning uh, perspective. We did a whole bunch of stuff in one and two point perspective. Um, so I hope that that will get you started. Go ahead and practice a whole bunch. Draw freehand, draw with a ruler, see which, which you like best. Um, uh, when I'm drawing like for more creative projects, I tend to ditch the ruler. Um, just because it, it gives you more of a personal feel to the drawing.